Gucci, Louis, Prada. Look at the Jordan sign. Air Jordan. Oh, shit. that's so cool. Mm -hmm. Tiffany ball. Look at this. Look what I found today. Someone's full wallet with their phone. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Here, let's turn this in. Hey, I found this. Someone's wallet. Oh, okay, thank you. No problem. I'm here at the flea market. I'm about to roll in, show you guys the vintage booth, the fake booth. It's kind of changed since the last time I made that video. So I'm going to show you guys everything that's in the market, everybody there. It just opened, so it's kind of early. I'm going to put the camera on my bag, so this is going to be mostly all first-person view because when I hold the camera in the flea market, people just look at me. They're acting weird. They don't really want to sell me stuff. So I'm just going to put it on my bag because people tend to not notice it. And let's get right into it. Buckets. Brought a bucket. How much are the buckets? 25. 25. What? What? Huh? What? Oh, it's YouTube. Oh wow, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I really like this Tiffany ball. How much is this? 40. 40. 120. The stitching's crazy on this one. Look at the Jordan sign. Air Jordan. Almost, almost, right? Right. Ooh, look at this. Oh. Hey, what's up? Man, I wish this was smaller. I need a Carhartt sweater so bad. 2XL. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Is that men's small? Vintage CCM. Man, it's got some stains. What else we got here? Oh, nice. Ah, man, Marner. Penguins. Ah, uh, if only if it was real. Toes. Never seen that before. VKM. That one's pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, it's falling bad. Here, let me try to grab these black ones. Up. Oh, 
Oh shit. Very big. These are all without lining, bro. Okay. And cool. same with these ones here. If you want to check inside, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. some. They're like Carhartts and stuff. They're really nice ones, bro. You can take a look. It's all good. Oh. Sorry. How much is this? Uh, give me 20 bucks. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. There you go, my friend. Thank you. Thanks, brother. Have a good one. You too, brother. You want one yeah, for sure? Yeah, I need a hat. Alright, well, you want a North Face well, one? Look at this Palm Angels one. Can't really see it, but it actually has a tag on that one. <laughs> that one looks good. Oh, look. Cool. Which one would you want more? Prada or Palm Angels? Where's the one? I lost them. Oh, it's right here. Oh, yeah. Prada, Palm Angels. I like the Palm Angels one. Which one? That purple one. This one? Mm -hmm. I like this one. You like the pink one? Yeah. I like the pink one. Alright, do the pink one. How much are they? Ten each? Would you do two for fifteen? Yeah. Right, hold these. Got the Gucci, Gucci, Louis, Prada, got Chanel. That one's kind of nice. Not gonna cap. That Chanel one. Michael Kors. Michael Kors. Fendi. It's Christian Dior one over here. Louis. I'm down here to pick up a Toronto Maple Leaf jersey with the fight strap Marner jersey. We got it for a really good price. They go for like 200. I'm gonna make a good flip on it. So we're about to go pick that up. But before we can meet this guy, he's got a meeting. So we're gonna hit this thrift store down here. Reason. I shouldn't even have worn this. Like, this is just ridiculous. <laughs> in this thrift, there's actually nothing here. It's probably the smallest thrift I've ever been inside. Look. This is their racks right here. They've literally got like four, <laughs> four little hangers. This, this is their electronic section. Look how small this electronic section is. It's got like three TVs. And it's just priced out of the world. Like, look at this. It's all in bins and shit, and they still want $30. Fucking garbage, whatever. Not every thrift is gonna hit, and you know, this is why I don't come to this one, clearly. Talk about 
is if you're thrifting and selling stuff is you want to like have your niche in your items right like there's people who sell clothes there's people who sell this there's people who sell that but you're gonna want to have your niche items like things that are always in your shop whatever that may be glass electronics whatever that you know about make it the items that you keep in your shop personally i would say that's the best method for growing your business's capital, growing your money, growing your 90 day total, whatever it may be, having these items that are always in your shop will have return customers, will kind of separate you from other people and give you a bit of an identity on what you are, who you are. And it, it, you know, you could just figure that out over time. It doesn't need to be tomorrow or today. You can figure out who you are, what you like to have in your shop, what you sell.